What's up guys? It's your boy Buzz and I'm back with another episode of the Uncensored. Big news. Like what just happened was crazy. Basically, the trade that I just told you about Persingis, it fell apart. The Clippers weren't feeling Michael Michael Brogdon after that. Due to some injury issues and I understand it because you have injured players such as PG and Kawhi so they just fell out of that trade well the Celtics weren't having it the Celtics went out and found a third team and guess what they switched Michael Brogdon from Marcus Smart so all of a sudden now Mar Marcus Smart is traded now yes Marcus Smart is a Grizzly Marcus Smart has been traded to the Grizzlies with Kristaps Porzingis still going to the Celtics and Tyus Jones going to the Wizards. Some picks are involved as well. Celtics sent their pick to the Wizards and um, the Grizzlies sent their pick, um, I think, to the Celtics. Yeah, somewhere here along those lines. I'll put it down in the comment section to clarify everything. But wow, Marcus Smart is no longer a Celtic. I already gave you my take on Porzingis. So let's just talk about how I feel the Marcus Smart trade goes now. First of all, Marcus Smart is a former defensive player of the year. Whatever you think you have or whatever you think you're going to gain, you lost a whole lot. Like, no one hustles harder. The tweet says it loud. No one hustles harder than Marcus Smart. You gave up that energy type of player. And I get it. You were all in on Kristaps Porzingis. You feel, me and the Celtics, Brad Stevens feels that this is the move for the championship to get Kristaps Porzingis. And he's willing to to part ways with Marcus Smart to do that. So Marcus Smart is no longer with the Celtics. They don't have their defensive player anymore. Well, they have. They still have defense, don't get me wrong. Brogdon still can play defense. Derek White can play defense. Tatum can play defense. Jalen Brown can play defense. They have a whole bunch of defensive players, but you lost that heart and soul, like that gritty, that, you know, Marcus Smart just had that grit in him. And you need those type of players to win a championship. I liked it better. I like the Celtics better with Marcus Smart there with Kristaps Porzingis than without him. With that being said, the Grizzlies did a fantastic job. They just switched Tyus Jones for Marcus Smart. That's excellent. That's exactly what you needed. You need someone with a stern and firm hand to come into that organization, a veteran type of guy, you know, to lead, you know, those young guys there because a lot of things been happening in, over Memphis and, you know, they also lost Dylan Brooks. So it's a great acquisition exactly for the defense and Marcus Smart can play some offense too. It's not like it's just all offense, offense. No, I get it. You you kind of lost a player that you know steadied the ship when John Morant went out and he either he was injured or he got himself to some problems but it is replaceable and Marcus Smart is a great point guard not great he's a good enough point guard that can keep the ship afloat until Morant comes back you know I Grizzly just has to fill out the roster and stuff but it's looking good for the Grizzlies I like that trade Tyus Jones to the Wizards, he'll get more game time, start more, because he's, I think he's a starter over at, in the, at, at Washington, as I've been said, I'm, I'm not going to reiterate it, Washington is trash, just get them out of there, just get them out of the league, but I like Marcus Smart going to the Grizzlies, I don't like this, that the Celtics lost him though, but we'll see. It's blockbuster news, guys. Brad Stevenson think that Kristaps Porzingis is the piece to put them over the top. 
So we'll see what's happening. This was your boy Buzz. Stay tuned.